Rurok Titan. God, that is good looking helmet. Yeah. What is good, Brow Rangers? Good morning. Hope you are doing amazing, phenomenal, fantastic, and all the other adjectives and words that mean good things. It is 7.40 in the morning. We are up earlier today to do this review video, guys. This is something that I've been looking forward to for the past basically week and a half. This beautiful product is the Rurok Titan from the UK. Rurok is a awesome extreme sports helmet brand and now the helmet is here for me to be able to ride in New York City with a little bit more confidence one extra step to make sure that I stay safe obviously I do fitness modeling and fitness acting and regular acting for a living so I've got to protect my head and my body now you can see the tape is already a little bit messed up last night I knew that I was gonna wake up early to do this review video and I wanted to make sure this one extra accessory was already charged by the time that we open the boxes. As I'm opening this, I'm gonna tell you real quick the color scheme of the helmet I chose. It is black and gold. I believe it's a glossy black and not a matte black. The main purpose of me purchasing this item is for the protection and safety, and secondly, for style. Go, 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 go. We has the box. I love their logo, by the way. That's a it's freaking beautiful. And you know what? Actually, now that I look at it, it's kind of similar to how the front of the helmet looks. Coincidence? I think not. I could be wrong. But here's the backstory. I was looking kind of at like motorcycle helmets. I was looking at full headed helmets for like BMX and all of that. And this is what I came across that I like the most. One, I think is super helpful because it is mostly created as a snowboarding and skiing helmet, as you guys can see in this picture right here. You got a lot of snow on there, and it comes with snow goggles. Um, so it is meant as a snowboarding and skiing helmet first, but I've also seen people out in California who use these to ride their electric skateboards, to ride their gravity boards, and so I was like, you know what? This could totally work as both. But because I do plan on going to skiing and snowboarding this season, I will absolutely be using this as a skiing and snowboarding helmet, which I'm very excited about. But here we go, opening the bag. This is my first time seeing it. I'm so excited. And of course, it's still covered in protective bags and everything. That's really interesting. So here we go, guys. It is the glossy black. We have the gold rock logo there. It's only on one side they have the Rurok logo, which is totally fine. The reason that's totally fine is because I actually, if you guys see in one of these corners here, whichever one I chose for this video, based on where I'm looking, it's probably going to be like up in here because we got a blank corner. My logo is the chief head, the wolf head, that gold and black and brown and white coloring. That is why I chose this helmet because I do want to get a really nice glossy chief logo made. And maybe I can put that bad boy right there on the opposite side that doesn't have the Rurok logo on there. This is a very interesting, oh, so the chin strap, you guys, instead of clicking in like this, you take it here and you slide it on. Right here we got our goggles. Again, the XL, XXL, based on the sizing. I did pull out a tape measure to be able to measure the circumference of my cranium to make sure I got the uh, right order. And I had about a 60 inch, sorry, excuse me, wow, definitely not 60 inches, 60 centimeter head all the way around. Here we go, our goggles, pulling them out. When it's super cold in New Jersey, my eyes water like crazy when the cold wind blows into my eyes. So these are going to be immensely helpful. And there we go, the plastic is out, super easy. Now they're loose in the back, but I dig it. I will be able to wear these at night and still see just fine. We have our visor. Let's go ahead and pull that bad boy out. Here's our visor, glossy black to match the helmet. I thought somewhere on the visor on the website it had said that there is a action camera mount, but I think what it meant is that here on the very front of the helmet, right there where the visor mounts can also be an action camera mount for the GoPro. So let's go ahead and attach this visor right quick. Oh, so excited for the freaking mask. Now right now you look at this, right? And it looks like, not your typical, because this is Rurok, and Rurok is not typical, but it does look like your standard snowboarding, skiing helmet. But we're gonna go ahead and slide on this visor here. Visor is attached, slid on right there to the base of where that action GoPro mount is. And let me go ahead and throw this on, see how it fits. 
Now again, guys, I did get the uh, XL, XXL. Just, just without even the mask, it's wonderful. It totally protects the back of my head. Two right below the base of my skull, all the way to the front to here. And the visor obviously creates a little bit more distance protection there. So now what we're gonna do is pull out the mask. The mask is what protects your lower jaw, your face, your nose. And at the same time, it all of a sudden makes the entire helmet kind of look like a Power Ranger, kind of look like freaking Mortal Kombat. I mean, look at that thing. Look at that mask, you guys. Not only does it match the helmet and its coloration, it's got this area here that you can breathe through so it doesn't fog up your goggles. Taking this, you guys see the slots here. That one goes there. Let me bend this one here a little bit. That one goes in. Very easy to throw on. Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. Oh, oh, I'm just imagining the Chief logo. Boom, right there on one side. So we have the gold rock on one side, which I'm cool with. And the other side, we have the Chief logo. So let's go ahead and see real quick, guys, if this guy slides on the same as it did previously when I tried on the helmet by itself. Oh, that's a little bit harder, for sure. But it does. It does go on. So let's actually go ahead and throw the goggles on. So here we go. Pull this guy back. We have the little hook. Slide that under there. Boom, we're good. That, if I've done it right, the finished look of the Rurok Titan. Love that. Full head helmet. Now with all of this being set up, guys, let's go ahead and pull out that extra accessory that comes optional for these brand new Rurok helmets. This right here, again, let me flip and uh, Ah, there we go. This is the Shockwave. The Shockwave is a Bluetooth headset slash attachable that goes inside the helmet and replaces the pad here at the base of the skull. I will be able to listen to music from my phone. I will be able to make and answer phone calls all inside the helmet, which I'm so excited about because that means one less thing for me to worry about with having my phone on me or pulling it out and trying to answer something or having headphones that I could get tangled in while trying to ride my electric skateboard. There are buttons in the back for me to mess with that changes the song that answers and declines phone calls. But I'd rather be able to just go boom or boom or whatever it is than reach into my phone, pulling a phone out, looking at the screen, doing that and putting it back. I'd rather be able to just continue to look at the road where I'm going and be able to adjust all those things right then and there. It does charge with your standard USB and micro USB charger, and it comes with its instruction manual. So, very simple little box here for the RG1 Shockwave. So very interesting, guys. I just read the whole Shockwave user manual to figure out how to turn on the Shockwave, pair the Shockwave, and use the buttons to switch back and forth. So now we're gonna go ahead and throw the Shockwave into the helmet. I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do that and then we will go ahead and start testing out music, phone calls, etc. Let's get to it. Just to show y'all real quick, right here on the left side we have one button. This most of the time is to ignore calls if you hold it down, to end calls if you hold it down, to turn volume down just by tapping, and then on the right side is to answer phone calls by holding it down, turning up the volume by tapping it, and then I think the back middle button once it is paired with your phone is what pulls up the Siri and or Google and or Bixby if you're a Samsung user. So we're taking off the liner in the instruction manual. It says to start at one side of the helmet and slowly pop all the way across to the other one at a time. There we go. So that is the original liner. I will keep this for safekeeping if ever I want to switch it back. Don't know why I would do that, but it is still a good piece and I will keep it in the shockwave box. Now we take the shockwave liner. Boom, got one. So far, mission successful. So we have that there. Let's go ahead and throw the uh, helmet on and get it set up now. I'm very interested here. The buttons, when I was showing you guys before, were on the outside of the padding. Oh, you can press it there, that's nice. So I was worried you had to like, somehow reach up under something, but no. Oh, bro. Oh, that makes life a billion times easier. Now, where's this middle button I was talking about? Now, guys, I'm thinking this middle button here is what they're talking about. As you all can see, right there is the micro USB where you can charge. 
and right next to it is this tiny little thing. I think that right there is the button. So we're gonna hold it down for five seconds or three seconds. One, two. Oh, I heard it. And the blue light, if y'all can see it, is blinking. I Meaning it's in pairing mode. So I just grab my phone. Phone grabbed. I reread the instruction manual and it said once you hold it down for the three seconds to turn it on and you hear power on, continue to hold for another two to three seconds for it to say pairing. And then it showed up on here as ski E1. And it connected first time, no problem. I think I have the volume down pretty far. Let's test it out. Going to Spotify. There it is. Wow. Now I hear it more in my right ear. I think it's because I thought maybe I had misplaced the left speaker. No, I definitely, I mean, I hear it. Now, I don't, I don't you know, expect it to be like beats quality, but turn the volume up a little bit. Oh, I skipped, haha, <laughs> my bad. So if you are used to beats, it is a similar tapping. So double tap is gonna skip the song like it just did. Single taps are what turn it up, silly. The bass you can hear is not one of its top qualities. And I don't know if it's just me, but I definitely hear it more in the right than I do the left. But it works. Okay, so now to pause it, this is gonna take some practice here. That middle back button is just really hard to press because it's small, and that's even with it being unzipped and open. So I can feel my way in there, but if it's closed, yeah, I'm struggling to find it right now. Uh, I might just, all right, I just found it. Yep, so I do hear it a little more on the right side. So maybe I'll reach out to them and um, see if we can figure something out. Also, in a review video that I'd seen earlier, uh, I don't know if this is a newer system, I thought it was the newer Bluetooth system that I had ordered. It looked like somebody else's had a little plastic strip at the back that had very easy to press buttons. This one does not have it. Like, it had a very clear power button, a very clear pairing button, etc. That would be very easy to, to feel, find, and press. Now, this one is kind of a struggle to do so, which, again, not a big deal. I definitely want to test it out for the phone calls and everything before I make further judgments or moves. But I, uh, I was expecting it to be a little bit easier to maneuver. These sides, totally no problem. The pairing, totally no problem. But this little button in the back for pausing, like I'm struggling guys. This is me pressing everywhere. And then I accidentally hit it, but I, I can't find it again. Okay, so I just found it. Based on the zipper, it's towards the end of it. Okay, that's more, that's more consistent now. Now that I'm getting used to where it is placed, it's not as hard, but uh, still a little bit of a struggle. But guys, that is it. That is the rock helmet. Let me throw the mask back on there for y'all now that it is all set up. So that is it, guys. That is the rock Titan helmet. I'm so very excited about it. The Bluetooth, I'm very excited about testing that out in the city. I should probably go ahead and turn that off as well. Brow Rangers, much love. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you guys for being a part of my life. I love having y'all with me step by step through this craziness that I call life, through this process that we call life and chasing your dreams. Guys, if you have work this week, crush responsibilities so you can enjoy the weekend. And if you have school, guys, I can't tell you how important it is to get the best grades you possibly can so you can choose the college and or career of your dreams for your future, whichever comes first. I will talk to you guys very soon. Much love. Deuces.